Hello, and welcome back to, well, not the final episode of Slay the Princess, but uh, this should be like the last run we have to do to get one ending, I think. Uh, kind of based on like Steam achievements and stuff, it seems like there's like, like two endings, but like there's a billion princesses and uh, paths and stories to find. So, um, we're going, I think this run, like I mentioned before, we're going to attempt to slay here. Still talk it out with everybody, but like actually grab the knife and try to slay here. And then in the second run, or like in the next chapter, we'll try to, uh, see if we can talk it out with her or something. Because last time we just tried to talk it out with everybody. And we couldn't do, like, the warn her option. So we couldn't, like, even try to protect her at the last second. So we kind of got the witch ending. So we'll see if, like, a different path opens up. But um, for now, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do here. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. Forget it. I'm not doing this. Are you serious? No, you have to do it. <laughs> Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. We haven't Don't tried the option it. yet. It's all part of the job. <laughs> you make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Hey, thanks, man. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. Ooh. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Pristine. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Enters the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase yeah, yeah, yeah. her voice carries. Who's there? Oh. So this is, this seems different. She seems on edge. I, I wonder if it's different if, we, if you pick up the knife or don't. Um, I, I also mention, I'll mention this, that like, whatever happens here, like with this episode and this run, we'll probably keep trying to play this and trying to explore all the different options and princesses we have yet to encounter. Um, I'll try to find like a non-spoiler guide, so I'm also wrapped in the mystery with you, but <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. Also, I think later this year they're coming out with like a definitive edition, so maybe... Maybe I'll just try to get the two endings. I don't know. There's a lot going on, but for now, let's just worry about this. I just wanted to let you know before I forgot to mention it. Um, so yeah. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Well, she's been down here the longest, so, I mean, out of the two of us. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Okay. Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. Our world, you know. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. <laughs> wait, wait, why, why would you even think that? I haven't decided. I, I'm just here to talk. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. But you don't have to try and kill me. 
You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. She makes a compelling point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Don't you dare. <laughs> it's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Or is it? There's only two options here. Let's... Let us... Uh, you grip. ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You're right. I, I should be. <laughs> you step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Oh, we could coward it out. We haven't cowered it out yet. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Mm, let's drop the blade. The blade tumbles out of your <laughs> trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess uh, face to can, face. Like, run away. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? You're apparently going to end the world. Don't just tell her that. <laughs> That's cute. Do you believe that? Do you think I'm some sort of... <laughs> monster? Well, I've seen you turn into a blade woman, If so I'm yeah. supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> what if they're bad reasons, though? If they had good reasons for thinking I was dangerous, wouldn't they have shared them with you? I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to leave. And apparently that kills people. <laughs> At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? It's true. She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Well, neither is yours. <laughs> like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. Well, we can't deal, we can't have the monarchy. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have <laughs> met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Hmm. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, 
Have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. I'm gonna keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't... Uh-oh. I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Oh, she's so tough. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. I made four mistakes so far already, so what's one more? <laughs> you turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? Yeah. She needed well. our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Oh, yeah, she could always just chew her arm off. Either way, she off. dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. Uh, it's really if I was afraid I'd already committed to it. No, we're sticking to the plan and locking her down here. It'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay. We can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. Yeah, well, we gotta do is just wait out here for the rest of our lives. No big deal. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. Uh-oh. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? Oh, God. It's not like this little door will hold for very long anyways. It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Oh, God. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. You're not here, you're not here, you're not here. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did. And I'll never forgive it. I feel like it's a bit harsh for, like, what we... Like, if she knew what we knew, which I think we tried to explain to her, like, hey, we've been told to come down here and kill you. Uh, you're gonna end the world. And she's just like, yeah, no, it's fine, just trust me. It seems, like, a little suspicious that she's automatically going for this, uh... <laughs> for... Be, uh, 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 turn into like a you demon or whatever. You know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. I have an idea. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. You never know. No, it doesn't. Just give her some time. She might get hungry. So all of that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really an innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. I could be innocent and harmless if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. Uh -oh. The ruckus has stopped and the door to the basement is ajar. Yike. It's lock broken and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? That's a very good question. Thanks for oh. helping me get out of that awful basement. Oh god, she's a ghost now. <laughs> you try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. Her, eye, her eyes are a little messed up. It isn't all at once. 
the paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. No oh God. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. But you do make, like, you do narrate stuff and you do change things. <laughs> so yeah, you could you could change it. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, oh cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down <laughs> one by one. Get away from me. <laughs> Or maybe okay. I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Get away from me. <laughs> what a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. <laughs> your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end, don't we? No, there's always... N never mind, you don't have to know that. It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 2, The Nightmare. Uh-oh. You're on a path in the woods. Yeah, You're yeah, here yeah. to slay her. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. She's going to kill me again. Again? People don't die twice. You haven't even met the princess, and I hardly think she'd be capable of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I guess. Shh. What if he hears us? That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Oh no. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I think you'll find yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save after all. Let's just proceed to the cabin, I guess. Or we could turn around and leave. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Uh oh. Never mind, we're proceeding to the cabin. <laughs> A warning. Before, Before you, you go, go any, any further, further, she, she will, will lie. lie. She will cheat. She, I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least, she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. anyone. All right, here we go. Let's enter the nightmare. The interior of the cabin is plain, the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. So I wonder if... Oh, oh look, there's a little ghost person there and some ghost people here. Looks like she's wearing a crown over here, so maybe it's, like, versions of the princess. I don't know. I was about to say, I wonder if, like, the mirror that shows up is just to indicate that, like, this is the last chapter of this run or something. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I only say that because every time we look into it, nothing happens, but we'll try to look into it one more time. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. It's just an empty frame. Mm -hmm. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? There, 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 there. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. You say so. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Hmm. Actually, we haven't, like, completely ignored the mirror before, so let's try to ignore the mirror, see if that does anything. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. 
It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Yeah. <laughs> Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? Yeah, I don't know what we can use for, like, a ghost, but a gun would have been handy. Or even, like, a crossbow or something. <laughs> The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, enter the basement. You cross over the threshold oh God. and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. It's gonna be a long fall. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. <laughs> the air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. It's if the princess not. lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, God, it's prancing. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're going to have a lot of fun, you and I. Oh, God. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. Step off. Step off into the void between the stairs. <laughs> sure, let's try it. Oh. You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? I was hoping I was just going to die and not have to fight a ghost look princess. <laughs> I don't know, falling into an infinite void seemed better than going downstairs and dying. I'm just scared. How would falling into an infinite void be better than anything? You, you haven't seen her. <sighs> you make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks, suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones, visible against the inky black of the basement, mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. So it looks like this goes directly to this plank, I wonder if that's anything. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? <laughs> no, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. Stop crying. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. I feel like you already know where I'm at. You're just kind of... Can I go back the way I came? You turn back to the stairs, only to find that they aren't there. Shit, a faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. Uh -oh. I told you I was going to find you. Oh no, her face is completely different. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Oh god. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. Thank you. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think! What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Um... Zero. Out as your blood begins to coagulate, it's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. Nice. Way to go, Paranoid. What are you doing? I'm working. 
Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. <laughs> okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? <laughs> no, no, you're doing great, sweetie. You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Again, your eyes Lungs. shoot open as you gasp Liver. for breath. Nerves. You can't decide what you want to do, Lungs. can you? Liver. Oh, Lungs. well. Heart. Standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Liver. Even if you look ridiculous. Heart. Thank you. She isn't attacking us. Liver. Why? Because she can't. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Liver. Nope. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Hmm. Nerves. Why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. Liver. And even if I did, Nerves. I don't have to. Heart. Look at Lungs. the way you're struggling to stay alive. Nerves. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. Liver. And I'm enjoying the show. Nerves. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. Oh god. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. Eh. It feels like static. And then... Shit, 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 make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. We got this paranoid. Heart, lungs, liver, liver nerves. nerves. You're back. Lungs, liver, One moment. Nerves, ah, oh, and there's nerves. the fear. Heart, lungs, she pulls away. Damn, I was hoping she would stay close enough so we could stand. That wouldn't be very fun, now would it? Heart, I've already done that. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, 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 liver. What happened after you killed me last time? I tried to leave while you suffocated. But that stupid lungs, cabin wouldn't nerves, let me. Heart, so I started lungs, to drag liver, your body out with nerves, me and then... Lungs, well, nerves, you died before heart, I could get lungs, to the door. Liver, and then nerves, I was here. Heart, and now lungs, you are here liver, too. Nerves, heart, I don't think I can lose without you. And dead heart, doesn't lungs, count. Liver, and as much as I love what we have going on, nerves, I have bigger heart, plans lungs, than tormenting liver, one nerves, poor little heart, creature lungs, forever. I want to leave. Okay. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Okay, heart, let's get out of here. What? No! Heart, lungs, <laughs> I knew you'd come nerves, around. Heart, oh, lungs, this is going to be so nerves, wonderful. Heart, lungs, liver, no, I'm nerves, not going to let this happen. I, lungs, before you can utter nerves, another word, your body stops lungs, moving. Liver, and, uh, heart, do you think. Sh oh, shit. Oops. Can I go back? Well, do you think you can just rest control away from us? This body's barely functioning as is. Doesn't the world end if we fail to stop her? Won't letting us die here just make it end faster? Okay. Boop. Shit. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver. Nerves, With a flick of the heart, princess's lungs, wrist, liver, the stairs nerves, slide heart, back lungs, into place. Liver, I can't believe nerves, you're making me watch you lungs, damn everyone to nerves, torment and oblivion. Heart, lungs, liver, yeah, I'll get used to it. Go ahead. I'll be right behind nerves, you. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, oh no. <laughs> this has happened one other time. You're not wrong, but maybe you should let me handle the feedback. Just focus on keeping us alive. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah. My job. Besides, I get the feeling she's telling the truth. She needs us alive. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, We'll just go. You place a shaky foot on the first step and begin your ascent from the basement. You can feel the static prickling of the princess on your neck, 
your limbs buzzing with pins and needles, an uncomfortable and constant reminder that you exist, and that your existence is so very precarious. Very precarious indeed. You're almost there. Did she just do like the Hannibal Lecter thing? The only thing left between you and the cabin is the now shut door to the basement. It would be a real shame if it had locked behind you. If it had locked behind us. Oh, you snake. There wasn't even a door when we first got here. The door was from last time. I told you we shouldn't trust him. I know he's messing with us, but you can't lose your cool. We need you right now. Remember? Yes, I remember. Of course I remember. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. This is so frustrating. <laughs> Heart, lungs, Thank Heart. you. And you? Lungs. You'd really rather us liver. die down here than let her out? Lungs. Of course Heart. I would. As much as I want you to have a happy liver. ending, the fate of nerves. the world is a little more important Heart. and you still lungs. have a weapon. Liver. You can still lungs. make Heart. this right. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Oh, look at that. It's locked. What a relief for the world. Heart. Lungs. And I think the door is locked. It'll open. You just have to give it a tug. Liver. Oh. No. Alright. Nice. Pull against the door. The lock gently clicks open in response to your effort, and the door creaks on its hinges. This isn't right. That's not even the way it's supposed to swing. It's supposed to swing out. You're not nearly as powerful as you'd have us think, are you? Uh-oh. Ahem. <clears throat> Heart. Lungs. <laughs> Anyways, like he said, nerves. you're not really in control Heart. here, are you? Yeah. I never said I was. Liver. If I was in control here, Heart. why would I need you Lungs. to slay her? Because you do have some control. I don't know. Heart. Secret reasons? Lungs. Yeah. Secret reasons. The door is open. Nerves. What are you dawdling for? It's time for us to go. The world is waiting. This makes me believe that even if we open it up, there's just like a continuous hallway of doors because this looks like a door into another cabin here. Shit. The princess moves past you and into the cabin. This is it. This is your final moment to make things right. Kill her. No way. I thought you wanted us to slay her. Yeah, make up your mind. <laughs> it's the same thing. Do it. Do it now. Do it now or everything is over. Okay, what do we do? Lungs. I said, what do we do? Nerves. Heart. Oh, do you want to hear from me now? Yes. But... Well, I thought you needed me to run the autonomic nervous system. <laughs> we do, but this is important. Look, I'll even do it myself. Just uh, tell us who to trust. Uh, brain? <laughs> heart. Uh, right, heart. Heart. Lungs. 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 Liver. Nerves. Okay, thanks. I got it. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. He's doing You're it. You're terrible at this. I know, but I'm doing my best. What are you oh, doing? God bless. Yeah, it's very hard to stay focused on running things when other people are talking to you, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. <laughs> Finally, Heart, I can talk. Lungs, uh, now, what were you asking me? Running liver, everything kind of feels like nerves, popping in and out of consciousness. Heart, it's easy to lose lungs, track of things. Liver, they were asking you for your nerves, blessing to trust me. Heart, <laughs> oh, that's right. Lungs, yeah, fuck this guy. Liver, Don't trust him. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this guy, yeah, no, absolutely not. Really? So you'd have them trust her? Oh, uh, of course not. Can't trust anybody here but ourselves, but I guess that leaves us back where we started, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I suppose if I had to make a choice, I'd pick the one that doesn't make our organs shut down. Unfortunately, it all makes our organs shut down, so we'll Thank just... Thank you for your gracious show of support. But that's a marginal preference. We'll have to deal with him later. I'd just rather deal with him while our organs are intact. 
whatever. You heard what he had to say, so whether you trust me or not, killing her is still the best, nay, the only option you have worth taking. All right, I'm done. You can let me take over again. Finally, that was awful. I really don't know how you do it. Heart, lungs. You've been standing there staring blankly for a while now. And I have to say my patience is running a little thin. So don't make a lady wait any longer, okay? Open the door. Oh god. Heart. Lungs. I'll just leave the cabin. Liver. The doorknob twists in your hand. Revealing the forested path beyond the cabin. Heart. You bastard. Liver. You've actually done it. Heart. You've actually doomed everyone. Oh, he's fading out again. Uh-oh. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to ruin it. But how? But it's so cold, too. It's itching against my skin. Ow. The princess, exhausted, slumps to the ground. Why is it so cold? Because you're fading out of existence. It's okay. All right, arms. Good job. See you soon. You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a mirror? Why is that? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be okay. Just trust me. Bye, but bye, it feels bye. so bad. Like looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. It's calling us, and not in a good way. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. Can we trust you? You approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. Oh no! I'm nothing. Wait, what's that? But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Is that her face? What is that? What a, that's like a super high definition version of something. Are you me? I think you know what I am. Oh, you're the narrator. So you are me. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image and the glass in two. Ah! And another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Oh my god. So many questions to ask, so little time. So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I ever get to see you. The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Countless. Oh, it looks like we only have so many questions. I've met you so many times. I've met you many times. Have you been the same all along? Have you, have you been the same you all along? I haven't, and that's by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. people out there beyond the walls of the contract do they know about this do they what do they know what you want me to do to them of course not the only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was doing but the bones of the universe are old it's on the cusp of its dying breath and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion when the patterns are wiped from the sand 
When the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow of the end. So there are people out there. So, you do know about the looping. So many of the times I met you, you denied it as even being a possibility. Why did you lie to me? Any other version of me you talked to was just that. A version of me. It wasn't me. As to why they lied, perhaps they thought that admitting to it would have pushed you to certain realizations that would have made finishing your task impossible. Maybe they were just in denial. I'm sure many of them were convinced that they had to be the first version of them you'd encountered. Anything else would have been too existentially unpleasant. And for all I know, each of those other versions of me could have had entirely different understandings of how this construct works. Who's to say which of them are right and which of them are wrong, really? Hmm. Except for me. I can tell you for a fact that I'm right. If you say so. Let's see here. And what is my true identity? You're the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. The god I made to rid the world of death. Oh, we're the long quiet? I thought we were in the long quiet. Interesting. So the princess is death? So many questions. What is the princess? Did you make her too? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. I see. So this is all... It all depends on our perspective, if we die or not, if she's a monster or a witch or whatever. It's not her changing, or me actually dying, or us actually dying, it's just our belief of the situation at the time. Our Perception. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. So many questions, and you only have so many pieces left. What if neither of us leaves this place? Does that work? Can we just stay here together and leave the people out there alone? It wouldn't work. Her nature as the shifting mound makes it so nothing can last forever as it is now. It wouldn't matter how long the two of you waited. Eventually, she would find a way to leave. And then, everything would change. Everything would face oblivion. And until then, the clock ticks on. Hmm. Do you know that things won't just be worse if I destroy her? Of course they won't be worse. I saw a glimpse of a better world, and I did what I could to make it real. Anything is better than oblivion. In the end, nobody wants to leave. So many questions left. Okay. Um. Wow. 
Why can't you have told me all this from the start? I would have helped you destroy her. If you actually knew what she was from the start, if you knew her capabilities, a single intrusive thought could have instantly ended the entire world. Oh, only two questions left. If you're not me, then what are you? I am an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Yeah. Alright, last piece. I think you're out of time. So I am. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. Oh no. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The narrator, narrator was right. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And it's finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness. There is nothing for you to find. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! She's beautiful. I can finally see you. <laughs> and you can finally see me. There's so many princesses. It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Let us save here in case we can access certain endings from this point. I've missed you too. She unfurls an endless cascade of smiles and responds and then patiently waits for you to continue. Do you know about the Echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. No, oh, that's it, okay. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually am. What happens now? Ever the passive player. Always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? I guess. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitude. Oh, she, I guess, literally our other half. Like, he somehow... But if we kill her, we kill death? I'm confused. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or will you open the final doors to our liberation? Quick save. So many questions. There's so many stories left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all this? If you're always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them would have led to this moment? If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Well, I was just asking. Uh-oh. 
wood pretends to protect us from loss. To fear death protects from losing a body. To fear ruin protects from losing status. To fear rejection protects from being known. Oh god. But losing a body is contained within having a body. Losing status is contained within having status. Being known is contained within being conscious. Yeah, that's fair. It is in the nature of all things to transform. To go from known to hidden to known again. But when the ceaseless impermanence of all things strips away the finality of endings, what remains of fear? Is it a shelter protecting you from itself? Or is it a shelter protecting itself from you? You took fear by the hand and walked with it into the unknown. And through that, you feared nothing. Oh, uh, okay. So it's kind of going through our endings. I'm afraid now the fear of those really can't pull the harm. I'm not afraid anymore. Why not? You wanted to make the world you act as if you're above it all, but you're not. Uh, yeah, we'll do. I'm not afraid anymore. Then you are one step closer to being free of your bindings. Oh, God. A trick behind your back and a trick behind mine. We dance, revolving and revolving around each other, but forever stuck in place. We both move and yet we both don't, for each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. But forever is not forever. I move and you react and both of us break the other. But broken is only a moment in time. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? Look how she's crouching down being all sneaky. <laughs> With time, we could have been better. And there is always time. Uh-oh. Their masses mob you. There is no beginning to them, nor is there an end. There is only the flood of bodies. And every moment you hold every possible sensation at once. And then you hold them all again. And in the end, you returned it to me. For a brief moment, you were everything. A chaos that needed ordering, but without chaos, there is no reason. True. I couldn't understand you then, but I think I understand you now. You saw with a single pair of eyes what you needed dozens to comprehend. And now here we are. Each with millions of eyes, and all of them opening to what we are. Your lover tried to stake into your body, and another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? Probably. <laughs> but the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever, consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. Hmm, that feeling never left me. Then there's no need for you to fight what we are. Whenever you're ready, we can leave together, hand in loving hand. I wonder if there's like a specific sequence you have to do to kind of. I wonder if there's like a third ending. That's I don't I don't know. This is all uh, way above my pay grade. <laughs> I, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to uh, get here, but I think we have one more. Okay, well. I won't leave with you not until you see things from my perspective. If you need more time to open your eyes. Then I will give you all the time in the world. A boundless torrent of blades catch you from boundless angles. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body again. 
And you feel all of it. On and on it goes until your bodies are not your thoughts or not you. Alive, dead, alive, dead, alive, dead, then alive and dead and alive and dead all at once. No. You learned to put yourself away and to follow the flow of reality. And you used it to rise above me. You died countless steely deaths, and you lived countless short lives, and yet it is all so far behind you. Unjust impossibilities pushed you to become something you would never have been without them. True. If you hadn't snatched that body away, we would have killed each other. We were self-destructive. Yeah, sure. Were we self-destructive? Or did the beauty of our dance reach beyond the shadow of death? It was lethality that made us what we were. I guess. As the clash between you abates, you begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. Free yourself. Alright, I think this is it. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. And you feel sensational limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here, except for her, is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it. But it does not yield. I love you. Take her hand. <laughs> All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. We're breaking free! You are free. And she is with you. It's magnificent. It's like uh, grass growing with like a kaleidoscope. Nice. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality. Something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. Step into the infinite. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contain, uh, contains a thousand more. You exist and you are aware, just as, just as you have always been and just as you will always be. Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone, and the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. We did it. We slayed the princess. <laughs> the voice isn't here. Jonathan seems nice. And the princess. Nicole, good night. Oh, fun. I think it's like a... Well, at least the... the, the I, missed, I missed it already, but the, the person who made the art and the person who wrote the game are related. I assume they're husband and wife, but they could be brother and sister too or something. Patreon Alpha Alpha Testers. And thanks to our little creatures Wednesday, Spoons, and Nubs. All fun. Oh, there's Gab Smolders and the mainly Badass Hero. Thank you so much for playing as an expression of our gratitude. Here's the track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hit hide the UI by hitting H. Does that matter? I, I don't know. Uh, follow us on some Reiki playlist. 
return to main menu. So I get, I mean, from what we understand that we are like a god of some sort. We were, we were death, mayhaps. And she was like life and like the creation, the possibilities of life. But we were one and the same for a while. And then somehow the narrator split us into two. And then we were... I'm a little fuzzy on some of the details, but <laughs> I'm like 90% of the way figure, of figuring it out. Let's load this real quick and see if there's if we can get the other ending. Uh, do do do. Do do do. Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know ever the past when the echoes. Let's slay the princess. Violence has always been our language, hasn't it? If this is what it takes to save you, then so be it. Is she just going to bring up the these people again? I guess we just have to answer differently. Fear is what pretends to with losing a body. It is in the nude when the ceaseless and beautiful. I won't engage with this. Conflict and discomfort have defined the flow of everything between us. A trip will forever to change. Um, remain silent. But you say. Maybe we should try this one. It doesn't matter how I feel, death, suffering, oblivion shouldn't fall on, their, on others. If we are able to tra transcend death, then we are responsible for those that holds captive. The Echo saw horrors because his eyes were closed. I should have skipped that. But... Your little but the states meant nothing to you. Oh. We were both taken. A battle was on and on. If you learned to put your... You die. Uh, da 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 Suffering born and delusion is still suffering. It doesn't matter what we are now. We hurt each other and we shouldn't have done that. We cannot let a world be spun out of that pain. Their suffering is born. Okay. As a clash between you abates, the princess relaxes, smiling from a distance. The respite is, is welcome. Are you still committed to my destruction? Or has your resolve started to waver? Nothing is immutable. There is no constant. You cannot remove something without removing the relations which define it. To destroy what you perceive as evil is to damn everything you perceive as good. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. <laughs> You are cruelty itself, I can't let- I, I had to fight for a better world, I'm so sorry. <laughs> then try to destroy me if you can. But I will not yield easily to your delusion. You don't have to face her alone. <laughs> I thought you died whenever I looked in the mirror. I don't think that's wrong, but I'm not sure it's right either. But we can worry about all that later. My voices. You'll never be able to strike a decisive blow from out here. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. Let's go, hero. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Then let's go. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Oh god, there's just bodies of the princesses everywhere. <laughs> Do you need me to describe things? Mm 
Hmm. Is it just you and me? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there. Jumbled up in the rest of her. Great. All right, let's take the blade. That's probably for the best. It's always seemed to give us more options than not. Enter the basement. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Yeah, you were in love with her. We both know why you're here. You don't have to draw it out for my sake. It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. We shouldn't. And there you are, knife in hand. That sight brings me back. You're going to do it then, aren't you? You're really going to kill me. I'm gonna try. You'll have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? We already chatted. We'll do another save here. Although this will be the last run we do for this episode, but we will at least... So this is it, then. Let's see this through. Let's slay the princess this time. So, that's how it is. Yep. Whatever world you want to build without me, I hope it works out. Despite our differences, I've always loved you. And I wish you nothing but the best. You blink and the princess is gone. All you have left of her is a small meliconic weight. Meliconic, yeah, weight that sits at the borders of your heart. Whatever action brought you and the princess into being was rough and jagged and left each of you with a piece of the other. By destroying her once and for all, you also destroyed a part of yourself. But the world hasn't ended. Things continue on. She's gone. And I don't think she's coming back. I guess not. No, she's not. A small part of her is with us. Is that a metaphor, or are you being literal? It doesn't matter. We don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's get going. Leave the cabin. You leave the basement behind. Then the stairs. And then you leave the cabin itself. It's quiet here. The path and the woods are outside are an empty canvas, but there is even more to see beyond this place. The fruits of your labor. A world free from death. Set yourself free. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation and you feel a sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here is you. You feel your wings spanning the cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not yield. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. Open your heart and bear witness to your new kingdom. All at once, the unyielding tension gives way. Ow. And then the shattering. You are free, and before you lies the endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality, one forged by your will and by a long and arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hands countless times over. But there will be no more bloodshed in this new world. It's finally over, isn't it? But all of us are still here. I knew we'd finally see it through. All it takes to be a winner is grit and determination. Yeah. <laughs> we really did win, didn't we? We're the house now. We get to make the rules. This is nice. No more hunting. No more running. Just us. And whatever's out there. Absolute reality. Who would have thought there was really a world outside of us? And who would have thought we'd actually wind up siding with him? We did the first time, it's okay. You don't have to tell them. <laughs> the whispering, and the coercion, and the bickering. Everything horrible about being alive has stopped. I could get used to this. 
That wasn't very hard at all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Well, boys, how does it feel? We're not just on top of the packing order. We are the packing order now. I hope this was all worth it. Because I'm personally inconsolable. <laughs> Poor Smitten. Lucky for us, you have forever to get over it. Time mends a lot of things. You'll get better. Here, here. To our vanquished foe. It's good to be back. Now we just have to figure out what to do with ourselves. Forever. No problem. We can do that, yeah? Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so that is the other ending. Um. So I guess that's supposed to be the the bad ending or whatever. Um, <laughs> or whatever. I, uh, I'll do some more, uh, looking around and stuff to figure out if there are any other things to explore in this game, but that was a really fun little game. That's a very fun, um, uh, what's the word? Visual novel. I usually don't like visual novels. I, I think I've really only liked this in Doki Doki Literature Club. Although I don't play, like, a lot of visual novels anyways. I think I, I think these are the only two that I, <laughs> I truly played, but <laughs> now that I think about it, um, yeah, I really like both endings. I think they're both pretty neat because, like, it's not like either one is a horrible ending. Like, I, obviously, it seems like the one with the where you you leave with the shifting mound is the good one. Where you kind of like make you, it's you and her together for the rest of eternity or whatever. And although this one is supposed, it looks bad and whatnot, but you still get to hang out with your voices for the rest of your life. But then, like what. The shifting mountain says, "Is there really life if there is no death?" Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of uh, uh, what's the word existential uh, questions that um, again is way above my pay grade, and we'll explore more of it in another episode. Um, but this one's kind of running a bit long. Oh yeah, this, this is going to be a long one. So I appreciate you hanging out and watching it. Uh, I, if you have any questions or if you kind of want, if you've uh, played Slay the Princess, I kind of want to hear what, what other people think about it. It seems, it seems like a good one, a really nice one. And, uh, like I said, I'll try to make another episode where I explore more of the options. Um, and we'll, uh, go from there. Uh, worst case scenario, if there are nothing left, if there is nothing left for me to explore... There is, like, that definitive edition that's coming out later this year that we'll uh, check out at some point. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate you uh, hanging out for this journey. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.